It takes an entire community to help stop child abuse, so make your donation now. Roofset 2014, because it shouldn't hurt to be a child. Guys, the second annual Bob Newton Memorial Race, it is going down tomorrow. Several attractions, including, and I think this is fun, high-speed remote-controlled cars, Fox 28's Amr Boss is in Lakeville this morning. Amr, these things are fast. Uh, Steve-O, you would love this. These cars are so fast, they can go 60, 70 miles an hour. These remote-controlled cars, they are really amazing. Coming up tomorrow here at Newton Park, beautiful Newton Park, They've got the second annual Bob Newton Memorial Race. We've got one of the organizers here with us, Todd. Good morning to you, Todd. Good morning. Uh, Todd, I want to start with just how cool these cars are. Okay. Uh, we're looking at a couple different models right now. Right. For folks that aren't very familiar with these, tell us about them. Okay, the car he's showing you right now is a quarter-scale sprint car. Uh, it's just like a regular, regular sprint car like you'd see Tony Stewart running or Ryan Newman or something like that uh, on a dirt track, asphalt track, but it's quarter-scale. Um, everything that car has, a real sprint car has, but it's just radio control. And the car that is over here to the right, tell us about this The one. car this, uh, that we're showing here now is an East Coast Modified. Um, it's a new class to CUSAC this year. Uh, it's an open wheel car, uh, but it's an East Coast Modified. Uh, basically, just one of our new open wheel classes. Todd, tell me how much do cars like these, would they cost brand new? And um, how fast can they go? Okay, a brand new car complete is about $2,000, not counting your radio. So for about $2,400, you get a complete new setup ready to go, ready to go out and race. Uh, you can buy a used car. There's plenty of used cars out there for $500, $600 that you can uh, buy. Uh, so for less than $1,000, you can get into this sport. And, and we're looking right now at the radio and at the engine. I think some people would be surprised at sort of what the engine looks like, kind of like a Wee Whacker engine. Right. Basically, that's what it is. It's gas-powered. It's basically the same thing you'd find in your Weed Whacker or Chainsaw. Um, and everyone runs the same motor. We have spec motors that we run and uh, no modifications. And uh, makes the plane feel pretty even. Now, Todd, this is such a cool event. Um, you've got the track set up over here uh, to our left. Uh, as we look at the track now, unfortunately, we did want to get these cars out for us this morning. You guys were so nice. You said you would take them out for us this morning. Right. But unfortunately, with the rain, not really that right. possible. It's, it's just like real racing. You know, we don't we don't have rain tires on these cars, and it makes it a little little hard for us to get around when it's wet. Cars weigh 30 pounds, and they've got a lot of power, and it's hard to get it down to the pavement when it's wet like this. So we're hoping for it to dry out here in a little bit so we can get started. So this actual event, tell us what's uh, hopefully going to happen today, if Mother Nature allows, and then what is going to happen tomorrow? Okay. Uh, starting today, as soon as it dries up, we'll have some uh, open practice, and then we'll go into our uh, controlled practice for each class. After that, we'll go into our heat races, and all that does is line us up for our races that we'll have tomorrow, which will be our main events, our heat races and stuff, or our main events, or features, I should say. Uh, and that starts tomorrow, approximately 9 o'clock in the morning. And we'll be here until probably 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, we've got some uh, a model show going on tomorrow. We've got an antique car show going on tomorrow. We're supposed to have some bicycle races. So if your kids are at home need to bring out your bicycles and see the cars, make sure you come out. We've got plaques for all of those. Uh, so it's really a neat thing that uh, Hoosier Tire and Newton Park has let us put on here. And this is our second year we've been here. And it's all for charity. The proceeds are all going to the park. And um, the event is free, and also if folks can't make it out here, they can actually watch on the web, isn't that right, Todd? Right, this year for the first time we've got live streaming going on, and if you go to www.cusac.org, there's links there where you can go on um, and, and click on the live racing, and as soon as we're up and lot running live, you can watch the, the races, you can hear the announcers, uh, lap times, different things like that, and see a little bit about the sport, and then... Um, once you get hooked, come on out and join us. I think you'll really like it. All right, Todd, thank you so much. All right, I appreciate Ho you hopefully, Mother Nature will cooperate and they can get these cars going out there. That would be a sight to see. Steve, Courtney, back to you guys. All right, they are fun. Thank you very much, Amr. So, Joe, when are we going to dry out?